In this video, we're going to talk about the restructuring process for the PNL. And restructuring here also means normalization process of the PNL. So we've created a template. In the previous video, we created a template for restructuring here. A P or L uh, notes to for restructuring, cost of sales and everything. These are the values per audit and stuff. So what's the process of now getting these restructured to restructured value? How, what's that process? Well, it involves getting the uh, financial uh, records of the company. So how do we get that? We have to go to the audited accounts and download them. So we have Nestle, for example, for this company. And let's, you, you pick, you go to the financials and see, okay, what did the P or L, which I think is in page 21, if I'm not mistaken, 21. Yeah, if you go to page 21, you see cost of sales. You have 11B. So this is note 11B. These are the values of 155 If you come here, you see 155 Yeah, because it's the link, because this is in millions. So, how do we now get to restructure? You need to understand what are the line items are here? What, what makes this up? What makes it up? And are there things we need to remove from it? So we have to go to note 11B. So how do we get there? We, we move to note 11B and check what exactly do we need to pull out? You know, it's note 11B somewhere down here. So, yep. So you come and you go through this and say, okay, if this is what cost of sales is, then how do we restructure it? I can see depreciation here and impairment. Can you see that? That's, that needs to be pulled out, obviously. where Why does it need to be pulled out? Because in our restructured, we have a separate line for that. But it seems that uh, depreciation and impairment are somewhere in here and probably some are also in here if you look at it. So you need to determine what exactly... Um, are we doing? How do we get to clean cost of sales? The one that is a recurring cost of sales doesn't include things that won't occur in the future. Things that basically noise. How do we do that? SGNA. What was the noise we have there that we need to pull out? Right. Interest income. Is it really interest income? If I check the financials on page uh, twenty-one, here interest income is called finance income. So what exactly is the makeup of this? is what, what is finance income to you? Now you have to think like a model of finance income is when you deposit some money in the bank and you get an interest, interest income. That's typically what it is. Finance cost is when you take a loan. So if you check the notes and you see that your finance cost is, has other things other than a loan, interest on a loan, that is the noise you need to remove. So you're checking to see how clean these values are. What noise do you need to remove from it so that you can forecast more accurately going forward? Income tax, we already know we need to pull out deferred tax. So we have that as a separate line. So that is the restructuring process. You're pulling out the noise and letting the noise be on its own as a separate line item. So here we're pulling out depreciation and impairment so that we can have a bidder. And also some companies they probably kind of have a lease, right? Some companies even outsource their entire entire assets and they don't, they just rent them all out. So they're different structures. We just need to see them as separate lines. And that's the purpose of uh, the whole restructuring process. And that's how it's going to work. So we'll see each and every line and see how we can restructure line by line.